everybody, welcome back to another episode. Yes, I'm back 3D printing. I've been experimenting with a lot of stuff in these three months. Unicron's a failure. So yeah, let's get into the episode. So I've been doing a lot of things these three months. I've finished the Millennium Falcon. I'm almost done with the Witch King, which is really big. I think this all took like around two months and I think there's a lot more left. Unicron was a failure. We tried cutting him up, doing a lot of things, but the details are too good and the 3D printer doesn't print as many details. So, and you two join him. Okay, now that's it for Unicron. Now let's talk about the experiment I've done with the printer. An issue I was, uh, an issue I'm having with the printer is stringing. As you can see, there's a there's a severe stringing on this print right here. Yeah, stringing is a very big issue on the, these types of printers. So I'm starting to experiment with the uh, retraction, which is, I put it on 4.7.5. So yeah, this is much better than uh, what it would do if I didn't put those settings. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, that's retraction size. We also got a, P fil a new filament called PLA+. Plus. We have to increase the heat to 235 degrees and the bed heat to 85 degrees. And also, I didn't, I didn't need to put anything for adhesion. Glue, um, hairspray, I didn't need to put any of them. It just adhesed by itself. And yeah, that was great. And that's it for all the stuff I've done. Now let's talk about prints. So, and speaking of prints, uh, the Witch King is very big. I had to scale it to fit my dad's big head. It's large. And um, yeah, and I also use 3D Max to cut many elements of this um, what helmet. So it would be big. I'll show you right now how 3D Max works. I think it's pretty fine. I like it. So I got this uh, model from a website. I bought it, so yeah. Now let's just get into putting it together. So as you can see, this is the entire back part of the Millennium Falcon. This is where you put the landing gears. You have to connect it in. And uh, these are the pieces for the landing gear in the back. This is how it's supposed to look like, but we'll put it there for later. Now, uh, where is it? Oh yes, now we have this thing right here. So what we do is just put this down, then connect it like so. Okay, yeah, it's supposed to be like that. And then we have this piece right here. Just push it in. So it's supposed to look like this. Now we have the other side. So yeah, it's supposed to look like this now. Now where is the uh, big one? Ah, yes, this right here. So we push it in. Did I do something wrong? Oh wait, no, I'm, it's all correct. Okay, so this is how it's supposed to look like now. What you do is just connect it here. All right, there's a piece that's supposed to be here. Where is it? Ah, oh, here it is. So we do, what we do is just connect this like so. Now other side. So, already looking great. Now just push it in. Yeah, come on. Okay, now this is how it's supposed to look like. Pretty fine. Looks cool. I like it. I'm a big Star Wars fan. I like this print. Okay, so now we connect this here. And what else do we do? Where is it? Yep, right here. Wait, wrong, wrong one, wrong one. This is supposed to hold the uh, cockpit. So it's right here. Push it in. Now where is it? Our cockpit. Okay, yeah, right here. Now I just push it in like so. So you got that. Now we push this. Oh wait, there's another one. Oh yeah, it's right here. So, oh, I have to pull this out. I think. So I have to pull that out. Now we just connect the cockpit right here. Like so now we just connect it. Now where is this piece? Yep, right here. Just gonna put even more. Now we put this piece right here. And we connect it. Ta-da, you got that. It looks pretty cool. I like it. Now 
just gonna make this like so. And ta-da, here you have the Millennium Falcon right here. Just pretend this is just glued on. So yeah, this is how the Millennium Falcon is supposed to look like. It's pretty neat. I, I like it. I still have this piece, still not printed. You know, the one for the antenna. Yeah, I still have to print that. Now you see this piece, these are the side details. So what you do is just connect them on. The, these, the undetailed sides. Okay, so you have that. That looks 10 times much better. Now this one, we put it, where is it? Yep, right here. So we can connect these two pieces together. It's sharp. Yeah, I'll do another one. Okay, so you have that right here. Okay, I'll get the side detail on. So yeah, there you have that. That is the details on it. Now this piece, I, I, it's pretty hard to put in. So, so yeah, that is not in okay now it's in so yeah here you have all the side details on there it makes the print look 10 times as much better with all that now we have the landing gears uh now what we do is just put the landing gear foot the foot oh come on this bent oh no come on so now, after putting these on, the uh, small prints don't feel nice, I've got to say. The, a resin printer would do this job ten times much better. But, it's pretty fine for the big parts, it's very detailed for them. Um, yeah, the feet, they don't feel nice, They um, there's a lot of stringing in them, and I almost broke one of them. So yeah, and now we're going to put uh, the um, these quad cannons I think so we put these quad cannons like so right here so yeah they could fight against the um, the Empire or the first order I, I don't know and also something I have to say something I have to say it doesn't have the uh, what the um, the um, they call it again the uh, the life pod if they crash in, in the Han Solo movie I don't, they don't have it in here I wish they would have made one but yeah overall it's a pretty nice print however I will model this missing part so this Millennium Falcon would be whole again so uh, yeah now let's get to the Witch King so I'm going to have to uh, glue a lot of the pieces and it would take a lot of time for example this and this right now. It's, there's a where's the other one? It's right here. So this and this will be. Come on. Okay, so this part will be uh, glued like this, uh, with uh, this piece right here, so it can make the eye holes. Right, where's the other one? Or duplicates. Okay, yeah, here's the, here's the other one. So yeah, if we connect these all together, this is for the mouth, this is for the eyes. It will take a lot of glue and a lot of time to do it. So yeah, while they're doing that, I'll show you um, the last parts we're printing. So yeah, here is the finished product, the Witch King's Mask. It is a one-to-one -one scale. It's bigger than my head. Uh, it looks so very accurate. I love the spikes. Man, the print work was amazing. All we need to do is just prepare it for paint and boom. Ah, the Witch King. Now, you may see something different with the, with the printer because this has been going for, with a, for a few days, you know, just going this entire thing. It was really a big pain. So this is the direct drive extrusion system. This is not from Creality. I bought it off a third party. It is very good. 
but I had many issues with it, uh, like, um, you know, the print quality wasn't great, so I had to immigrate some stuff from the original uh, extruder from Creality, you know, like just like the nozzle tip and this metal piece right here, so the properties would be good. Um, and here's an example of it. So, this is the Nazgul. This is only just near the feet. The quality is amazing, and also we were able to eliminate stringing, which was the best thing to ever happen in my life. Eliminating stringing was good. And also, um, with the Nazgul, we made the speed 300%, and the print quality was phenomenal. So yeah, that's what I did. Well, for 3D printing. And uh, I, I really scale up my prints like very big. So that's why I use 3D Studio Max for cutting. 3D printing is amazing. I really do like it. I'm improving every day with upgrades, you know, software, you know, settings for stringing, which we got rid of. Thank goodness. Ah, that was probably the best thing. So yeah. And if you need any help with 3D printing, so yeah, you can just comment down below and I'll tell you what how to fix it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to have a good day. Good goodbye.